Good morning, morning Colonel Vi. It's Thursday, March 28th. It's a day three. My name is James. And I'm Mindy. And these will be your morning announcements. Curious about the field of medicine? Be sure to check out Operation Med School, a one-day medical conference taking place on March 30th. Students will participate in activities from hands-on workshops to lectures from medical professionals. Visit operationmedschool.com or oms.ottawa on Instagram for more information. If you are 15 years or older and would like to participate in a fully funded three-week community service project exchange to the United States this summer, please see the Student Services Bulletin Board with the details on how to apply. The deadline is April 1st. There will be a tryout for junior girls soccer today after school from 5 to 6 p.m. Please bring your indoor shoes. Colonel Bai's annual art show is soon. Here's an ad on that. Oh, hey CB, didn't see you there. I was just adding some finishing touches to get ready for the art show. Let's go see when that's gonna be happening. I'm here with Joe and Carol, Lauren, and Sanjeevni, Samat. What's special about this year's setup? We're not just gonna have black panels anymore. There's also gonna be light pink and like a teal color and a beige as well. You're in grade 11, right? This is gonna be your first year. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm actually very excited, but very nervous because so many people are gonna see my artworks. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. So I'm here with... Jaida. And I see you're painting some really nice lemons there. Is it gonna be displayed in the art show? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have these lemons displayed there and I'm gonna have a few other fruits in there too, so you can look forward to that. I'm really looking forward to displaying my own artwork as well as seeing like all the work everyone else has been putting in. It's gonna be really cool and exciting. So Carol, when's the art show gonna be this year? Next Wednesday, April 3rd. And what's the favorite artwork that you're hoping to show the school? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make sure to check it out, CB. I had a great time interviewing the Colonel by Art students in preparation for their art show, which will be on Wednesday, April 3rd. Make sure to come check it out, CB. Make sure you show the support to the local artists we have here at CB. Would you like to help fix our wounded books? If yes, please go check out CB's Wounded Book Club on Instagram. Wounded Book Club's senior members have been busy at work designing book covers for books in need. If you have not done so already, go check out their Instagram story to vote on your favorite book cover design. Voting ends this Friday, March 30th. Grad write-ups for this year's yearbook are now open. Please click the link on the school website to fill in your memorable quote. Don't miss out as you only have until the 12th of April to get them in. Edge Imaging will be hosting local portrait sessions for students who missed all opportunities to have their photo taken. The East Studio Day is April 16th at the Saint Laurent Complex in the Summer Room. The West Studio Day is Wednesday, April 17th at the Canada Recreation Complex in the Meeting Room. Do you like live music? Night with the C Flats is just for you. Let's go check out an ad on that. You there. Link Crew is holding a cake auction this Friday. Students will bring in money to their 2C class in order to pool their money together. Afterwards, classes will get the chance to bid on cakes. At the end of the day, every class wins a cake. So the more money your class has, the better. The money will be put towards the Link program in future events that they will be hosting. Colonel Bai will start composting this week. We are starting off the program by only composting solid paper products such as pizza boxes, used paper towels, and disposable paper cups, so no organic food items for now. Keep your eyes out for the bins. If you are interested in track and field, there will be an interest meeting today in room 215. Add yourself to the Manage Back group and complete the Google form as well. Do you like expressing your culture through food? Interact Club will be hosting a food fair soon. Let's check out an ad on that. Hi, I'm Nim. And I'm Colin. And we're one of the execs for this year's Interact Club. For Interact Club, we're working on a really exciting project right now. It's called International Food Fair, and it's a chance for people to share and to experience different kinds of cultures. 
uh, that is, if you're uh, representing a certain country, like China, we'll be making food that is characteristic of that country, like noodles or dumplings. And we just think that it's a really fun way to try different things through something that we all enjoy, which is food. Exactly. So it's a sign up. You and your friends will be signing up as a group from uh, three to five people. And you'll be running your own food booth, as Colin said, uh, selling foods and making food. So it would be from main course to drinks, whatever you want. And the food you sell would be like expressing yourself and also helping other kids in the CB understand what your culture is all about. So we have a meeting, interest meeting, tomorrow uh, in, in room 213 in Ms. Talbot's room. It's a mandatory meeting if you want to uh, attend and, or uh, be a part of the food fair and we hope to see you there. I'm already hungry from just hearing about it. That's, That's all, all from, from us today, today CB. CB. Have, have a Theology, Theology Thursday. Thursday.